This conference will now be recorded. So in the third one, what did you change? So if I am getting the order of rupees 5000 from it's the customer. So where I need to increase and where I need to decrease. Okay, fine. You leave Cash, the second Cash, you need to increase, correct? So it's 5,000 plus 5,000. That should be 50,000. Then? Accounts receivable, we should decrease. Account receivable, it should be decreased. How? Why I should decrease the account receivable? Tell me. Yeah, correct. So you should increase retained earning. So it should be retained earning. So how about the fourth one? So ABC made an expenses worth of 3000 to pay a vendor's bill. So what should decrease? So what should increase? Accounts receivable no, in assets. Receivable. See properly. ABC and expenses worth of 3000 to pay a vendor bill. Vendor bill. Accounts payable 3000. Correct. So you need to minus accounts payable. That is 77,000. So if you are paying, then you should decrease the cash 5000. That would be 47,000. So the next one, ABC raised the capital by issuing the shares to the public worth of 1 lakh. So where you need to increase and where you need to decrease. Equity capital, you have to increase. So that is 2 lakh 20, you need to increase. Mm -hmm. They should increase it for the one lakh. And cash, sir. So you should increase cash. So one lakh. 37,000. Yeah, 2 lakh, 20,000. Okay. Next. So 
ABC purchased the raw materials uh, raw materials of the worth of 12,000 on credit reduce its goods and service. So where I should increase, where I should increase. Account payable, sir. Ah, accounts payable, you should increase. Inventories. Mm -hmm. Inventories, inventories, sir. Yeah, you should increase the inventory. So eighty thousand, twelve thousand, ninety two thousand. Then you need to invent uh, you need to increase to inventory. That is up to for So it's matching there. So the equipment was purchased rupees worth of ten thousand by cash. Yes. Equipment, sir. Cash uh, we should decrease. Cash. Uh, cash we should decrease. Equipment we should increase. Minus ten thousand here. Plus ten thousand. One lakh thirty-seven thousand. Two lakh ninety thousand. So still, it's not matching. Two lakh ninety thousand, so So this should be my answer. So everyone got the same one, same answers. Yes, sir. Okay. So the next which we will be doing is balance sheet two. So when it comes to the in the balance sheet too, you also have the cash flow. So here, whatever the uh, you are doing by the cash, so that whatever the expenses or whatever the income I do by the cash, that thing you should give. Excuse me. Yeah, so in the cash flow, what do you need to do in this sense? So whatever the expenses, whatever that income I get that through the cash, that thing I need to give here in the cash flow. So this cash, the remaining cash should be the asset of the cash in the online cash. So in that you need to continue. So when you are balancing everything, income statement and the balance sheet and cash flow, all the three should be balanced equally. So when you are doing that, then the financial statements of line item, what you are doing, it will be exactly you get to know the clear picture about your business. So what is the exact cash you have in hand? Okay. So first, the first one, case one, I'll tell, case two, you do it. So when it comes to the case one, here you need to do the sales first income statement we will finish it off then we will do the balance sheet then the cash flow so when you are doing the uh, income statement so what is your sales that revenue so you need to give here selling 50 books of rupees 200 so you need to give 50 into 200, 200. That is 10,000 you need, you have. Then you have COGS. 
So the same manner, the 50 which you have sold into bought price, that is 100, that is 5,000. So you have your COGS here. Then what you need to do, you need to know the profit. So that's nothing but sales minus revenue minus COGS. So 5,000 you have. Now you need to do the uh, balance sheet. So when you are doing the balance sheet again, so if I am introducing the capital of 1 lakh, so it's the owner's equity. You are you need to type 1 lakh. So if, what is your retained earning? As I told you, your income, the profit, what you get, that profit we will carry forward to your retained earning. So equals the profit amount I take, 5,000. Now computer purchased worth of so before we are doing that, we do this accounts payable. When you are doing this accounts payable, what will be my account payable? As I told you, selling the, uh, sorry, buy 100 books worth of rupees 100, amount paid after 30 days. So if you are paying after 30 days, then it is your accounts payable. That means 100 into 100. So it is 10,000. Then, you need to give the computer. What's my computer I need to do? So, for example, computer purchase to work of 20,000. So, I'll give my uh, 20,000. Advance rent paid. Advance rent paid is 10,000. Deposit. Deposit is 20,000. So, total inventory that is 5,000. then account receivable so here the same if i have selling the 50 books out of 200 the amount will be receiving receiving 30 days after so it is 50 into 200 so it's 10000 now i have no cash this cash should be taken from the particular cash flow so here what you need to do is like you need to find out what are all the positive cash to you and negative now when it comes to the capital equity, so that you have that one lakh I'll take. In that, computer and rent and deposit should be minus. So if I'm taking, I need to take the minus amount. It should be within the bracket minus 10,000. Now you can select the sell value also minus. Fourth answer. Which one? Fourth one. Uh, another, what is that fourth answer? Like, I didn't get you the question. I didn't get the question. Yeah, balance sheet one. Fourth one, okay. So here, ABC made an expenses worth of 3,000 to pay a vendor's bill. If you are paying it, means it's a worth of 3,000 that you are going to pay. Them. So it's account payable. No, you are paying 3,000. If you are paying 3,000, how you are paying by the cash? So cash should be minus 3,000. Accounts payable should be minus 3,000. Did you get? Did you understand another? Okay, I hope you have understood. I'll continue with the balance sheet too. So again, these are all should be minus. Now, we need to do the formula, sum of the cash. All.
how retained earnings hmm correct uh, retained earnings should be minus only in the next it is minus only no it is showing you 6 lakh 2000 we have already did here if you observe 6 lakh minus plus of the 5000 minus 3000 yes correct in the next balance sheet if you see in the fifth balance sheet we have minus Means same balance sheet only if I am giving anything extra or like whatever if I am doing based on the transactions, I should increase and decrease it. No, so same manner we are doing in every uh, steps. So in the fifth question, that 3000 is minus. So what you told is correct. Now I in this fourth, I wanted to balance only this 927,000 so that we have gone through it. But what you told is correct. You understand? So now in the balance sheet too, I have this sum of all the cash. So it's a 50,000 left. Here what you need to do equals select that 50,000 cash. Now you know what is the formula for your uh, to find out the total equity so total liability and total assets sum of all this so here i have 1 lakh 15000 1 lakh 15000 equals total liability minus Total asset check. So it's nothing, it is zero. So this is the uh, first balance sheet the cash flow formulas and all i'll teach based on the questions this three you need to do now what you need to do is like do the second one okay do the third one so second one you do then i will go for So, as usual, how do you do the cash total equals equals sum of all the cash bracket close enter that is fifty thousand. This uh, cash equals select the cash block enter. Okay, so now start doing the second one.
Okay, so do this uh, balance sheet two, balance sheet three as well also. Try to do the balance sheet three as well. So I'll be doing the accumulated uh, depreciation one. Accumulated depreciation two, you do. Then uh, I'll show how to do this retaining profit. Net debts. So we will finish it off the balance sheet together, like all together. Okay. So now uh, listen, everyone. The case one for the accumulated uh, depreciation, I will finish it off. Case two, uh, sorry, case two, you do it. Case three, you do it. Then accumulated depreciation two, you try to do. Return profit, I'll teach. Net debts one I will teach and the two you need to finish it up. Okay, so the the next is accumulated depreciation. See here what happens? I need to find the accumulated depreciation and PPE of the year. So that is nothing but property, plant, and equipment. So PPE is nothing but property, plant, and equipment. So it's nothing but like the asset what is the value you, which you have so in the first case in income statement they want they are telling me to do the ebitda or depreciation of the given value in the next they are telling me it as an asset format what is an accumulated uh, depreciation and pp net value I, I at the end of the year my net value should become zero so if i'm depreciating the value of amount at the end of the year it should become zero that is how you will be finding out this accumulating year, accumulating depreciation of every year. Okay. So the first one, if I read cost of the car is 2 lakh and the life of the bus CS is 4 years. That's the balance sheet we will do it. So for EBT, they have itself is given. Uh, here, the amount is 3 lakh 50,000. The depreciation is how much? So if I wanted to do the depreciation in the income statement, what I do in the when when it comes to the depreciation in an income statement, 
everywhere here it will be the same amount of the depreciation so it is like if i count year one year two year three year four there are four years so if i take the life of four years itself what is the amount of the depreciation i need to do is like select the amount here you need to give the two lakh the cost of car divided by four so here fifty thousand the fifty thousand is a depreciating year of the for every month So when it comes to the PPE, plant, property and equipment, what happens when it comes to the balance sheet, the asset or the equipment value will remain the same. So I need to give for all the four years, it is the same amount. But when it comes to the accumulative uh, depreciation, so it should be changed. When it, uh, when it is the amount, so for example, 5 lakh, when it is at 2 lakh, the every month of the depreciation is how much it is accumulating. So for example, the first time I need to take the two lakh of divided by four. It is 50,000. Here what happens when it is been accumulating, then, then the value should be added to, to the 50,000. Means you are depreciating the 50,000 you are depreciating in the first year. Second year that the 50,000 is added, which is at 1 lakh is depreciated. So now what I need to do is like equals the loan amount, sorry, that uh, cost of car divided by 4 plus your first year value. So then it should be 1 lakh. Same manner at the end it should be 2 lakh. So it should be minus it. So my uh, final year of the PPE net value, it should be zero. So when it comes to the plant, equipment and property, that value is two lakh in the first year. So when I am depreciating in the first year, it is 50,000. 50, so when you are only depreciating in the income statement, every year you will show 50,000 only. But when you are showing in a balance sheet, it is accumulating every year. So in the sense, the previous year 50,000 is accumulating to the present year. So the next year the amount is accumulated by the present year. So here what you need to do the calculation for the first year you only do the value of the car divided by 4. So which is being 5,000, 50,000. So when you are doing in the second one that the previous amount should be added to the present accumulated uh, depreciated value. So that is 2 lakh divided by 4 plus the previous amount, previous year amount. So it is 1 lakh. Same manner if you are continuing the last should be the 2 lakh which is will become your net value will become zero in the four years. So what I need to do to make this one it's a minus in the minus you should use equals PPE minus the gross PPE minus accumulated depreciation enter. So it is 1 lakh 50,000. So if I drag my end of the year it should be zero. Okay, so same manner, you need to do this second case and third case. So 
when it comes to the second case same manner here they have not given you the income statement they are telling only to do in the balance sheet so every first year it should be same so every year it is the same gross that is 5 lakh in the accumulated depreciation as the year one is it the present year you don't have the previous year to accumulate into the year one so what you need to do the select the ppe divided by 5 so here they have given 5 years so you need to continue same manner in the year 2 uh, year 2 value divided by 5 plus previous year you are accumulating into the year 2 then continue then ppe minus this 2 gross minus accumulated depreciation and they have drag it so the year 5 it should become zero then what you are doing in the second one you are doing in the form of percentage so percentage before what you did is like divided by the year so here they are representing year they are representing the percentage in the third case you are going to do the percentage you know what you need to do the percentage if it is year you are dividing if it is percentage you should multiply now ah, correct so 4 lakh 3 lakh 2 lakh 1 lakh and 0 correct you do it so the next case 3 you do it for uh, percentage same manner do it in the uh, accumulated depreciation 2 see here what they have given is in the year 1 year 2 year 3 they are depreciating means they are showing you the value of uh, 25% 50% and the the value you need to continue it here what you need to do what it will be the fixed asset value you need to know what is the present fixed asset value that you need to do it then again you know the percentage you should add here what is the fixed asset value directly the fixed asset value you need to put read the question and do that particular format in case three you should do percentage case 3 you do by the percentage so can you show with the case 1 so
yes correct you should multiply good percentage no obviously you will multiply in the case three uh be doing excuse me Excuse me for five minutes. I'll tell that. Okay, you got the answer. Fine. So in this, what you need to do, this one lakh twenty thousand will be same for all the year. Here, this amount into twenty percent. Here, you need to accumulate it. This amount into twenty percent plus previous year. Then add it here equals this minus the accumulated depreciation. So God no zero. Oh. So do it. Excuse me for five minutes.
Okay. See, in case one, first you find out the depreciation. So your uh, my EBITDI has been given already. So every year some amount I have to do four years. So you need to do the depreciation. Uh, when it comes to the income statement, you know very well. In income statement, if I am going to do the depreciation, whatever the year it is, the amount will be the same of the depreciation amount only. So I'll be knowing only the depreciation amount. So what I do equals that EBITD amount divided by how many years we have there is four. four. So it's like Yeah, accumulated depreciation part I will teach you. Okay, you're asking me the case one of the accumulated. So here, uh, everyone have done this accumulated depreciation one. Understood? Any doubts? Okay. So now we do this accumulated depreciation two, case one. See, you should read. Now, uh, cost of the machine is given 25 lakh. Project of the seven years, three years of development phase plus four years of execution phase. Yeah. So whenever the machine will put to the use to the generate revenue only during the execution stage. So they have telling when it comes to this execution stage, then only this uh, depreciation will happen. Machine will not work during the development stage. Now think that. When I am getting the assets, so for example, I wanted to purchase some huge machine or something that what I do, that machine should have some construction. So today, uh, say for example, machine, I am bringing the uh, raw materials of the machines and uh, that uh, connections, so maybe some of the uh, uh, motor, so so and so things that you will get so that development year they have given is three years so that amount that which has been given is 25 lakh so now what what they have done for this 25 lakh every three years of the development pace has been increasing the pacing so how much they are increasing in the first year 25 percent is increasing on 25 lakh in second phase, 50 percent is an increasing on uh, 25 lakh. So in third time, it has been increasing the uh, amount of this 25 lakh. So now, whenever you are increasing, you are also accumulating that previous amount to the present. So it should add. Now, what you need to do for the fixed asset on the gross equals where is my 25 either you can type 25 lakh nor you can select it into 25 percent or you can select this amount only directly so it is 6 lakh 25 thousand in the second phase what i need to do is like i need to uh, increase the 50 percent with the previous amount previous year so equals 25 lakh into 50 percent plus my year one uh, development pace amount so it is 1 lakh 85 thousand oh sorry 18 lakh 75 thousand again into percentage plus 18 lakh 75 thousand that is 25 lakh as become now when it is been accumulated as a 25 lakh, they have told from the fourth year execution stage will happen. So when the year in the three years, there is no depreciation. There is zero. Why zero? Because it's not happening. 
So I don't have this fixed as a net value also. When it is starting the execution from the fourth year. So here the value of that will be same. That two lakh uh, forty five thousand only. I'll continue. You can just drag also. So I can just take equals this amount. And then you can drag. Or you can type also. Now they are telling depreciated from the fourth year. So you know if you are accumulating it, so they are telling by the four. So how do you do? Equals select two lakh to twenty five lakh divided by the four years. Why? From the fourth year, the four years of execution phase they have given. So from fourth year, it is one, two, three, four years only. So it's four. So you will get six lakh twenty five thousand. Again, you know how to do the accumulated depreciation now. So same manner. The amount of twenty-five lakh divided by four plus the previous year amount, which is accumulating into one lakh, sorry, twelve lakh fifty thousand. Same manner, amount twenty-five lakh divided by four plus uh, year five the accumulated value. So the last accumulated year, it should be the same amount where I can uh, get the zero of the fixed asset net value divided by four plus. See. Now equals twenty five lakh minus six lakh twenty five thousand, so it is eighteen lakh seventy five thousand. So if I drag at the end of the year, the value should become zero in the seventh year. This is how you should do the uh, case one. Same manner, try to do the case two. You do case two. So when it comes to the development phase, there is no any depreciation. So you should increase that. Three years, you are just getting a new. Uh, it's a development. You are building the asset. So if it is a huge machine or something, that is a development phase is three years. That time you don't do any depreciation. Once that development has been done, execution phase is started. Then you will start this depreciating.
have not done this in the second case. If it end is getting zero, then it is correct. So the 40 amount into 30% here 40 into 60 plus previous. Year. 40 like into 10 plus 30. So, so every year it is zero. Here divided by so divided by so. Correct. So everyone do it. So I hope you have completed that. So now we will do this uh, retained earnings. So in the retained earnings, retained profit, I'll do only the first column of it every year. You do everything, okay? So now I have you already given uh, sales, COGS. You know how to do the gross profit, 
the gross profit equals sales means revenue minus COGS. So cost they are telling cost you should always do from the day itself has told you this 25% of the uh, cost of 20% of revenue year every year. So it equals this revenue into 25%. So the same thing, it will continue. Now you know how to do this CDB, uh, EBITDA. So the cost, so you will get this. The depreciation is already given. Then EBITDA, EBIT, this minus depreciation. So interest, you know, this minus it. So this into 30, 30%. So your value should be this much. Okay. So here for the owner's equity, you will, uh, I'll just type it, uh, my value equal. So shareholder funds, then owner, owner's equity think that I have the shareholder funds as a side drop. 50 lakh. I'll take it as 50 lakh. This she will give for every year same amount. Retained we will take from the this particular uh, income statement. Okay, total owners equity we take shareholders shareholders plus plus retained earnings. So this should be the amount. Uh, this is the case one. In case two, you do the same amount. They click. You can take the same amount of this fat, or else I'll give. I'll only give you the amount. So think that in the beginning, I have I have one lakh twenty thousand. So in the second year, I have one lakh forty thousand. In third year, I have two lakh fifty thousand. In fourth year, I have three lakh find out the hmm. so I have this income statement values I have given for this owner's equity I think I'll give us 8 lakh so 8 lakh is same for the four years find it out to the total equity Understood? This is how you will find out the straight-end balance. So retained profits you will have. You all understood? So in the owner's equity, think that shareholder funds I have by default. So 5 lakh I'm giving, uh, so 50 lakh I'm giving as a shareholder funds. Retained earning, copy from this pad, means from your income statement, you copy it. Equals, just select and copy. Once you find everything here, you just drag it up. Total equity is nothing but sum of shareholders plus retained profit. So that is your total owner's equity. So this is the same. In the second case, I will only give you the random amount, that's like a default amount, 1,20,000, 1,40,000, 2,50,000 and 3 lakh. Think, think this is my uh, uh, part. So shareholders, I am giving 8 lakh. So shareholder funds, I am giving 8 lakh. Find out return profit, find out your total ownership. Do you know retail? Profit is nothing but your part. 
total uh, owner's equity is nothing but sum of these two. Understood? Okay. So find out the retained uh, profit you find it. Mm. Yeah. So this should be your answer. In case one, your answer is not matching. Okay, you're talking about this. Uh, it's not cheap. Okay. Okay. See.
So I hope you all finessed those. The next that we will be doing is a debt. So the next we will be finishing the net debt one. So that debt two we will do it. So now what you need to do is like um, in the case one, nothing to do. So here has they are told if there is no replacement done for four years, then your debt will be the same of five lakh. So there is nothing that you need to do. But here you need to do the uh, debts. So when there is a replacement is done for the four years equally, what would be the amount that you need to give? So as I told, here you should uh, first debt it will be the five lakh itself. So second year, first we will find out the replacement fee, replacement amount, repayment amount. So if I am doing the repayment amount. So what would be the they are telling four years so that four years i need to divide that five lakh divided by four so it is one lakh twenty five thousand so then when it comes to the total uh, net for the debts will be debt minus repayment so what is my uh, debt amount that will be the second year amount so you need to take this amount same manner here the amount will be what that repayment amount for the four years is here they are telling equally it has been repaying for the four years so this repayment amount will be the same means it has been taken for the same five lakh only so what you can do if you are tracking take this one as absolute reference into sorry divided by four So you can give the same amount. Now, L minus this repayment, the debt amount will be in the next year. Year three. So at the end, my debt amount should be zero. This is how you need to do this. So that's in the balance sheet. So once again, I say, the what is my debt? Debt amount that is nothing but five lakh. So I'll just type it. Repayment amount. So they are not giving you percentage or anything. They are telling the repayment is done for the four years equally. So if it is done four years equally, then that would be five lakh divided by four. So as it is being done equally for the four years, so I will make it as an absolute reference. So when I drag, it will take the first year and that five lakh only. So divided by four. The net amount will be the debt minus repayment. It is three lakh seventy five thousand. When it comes to the second year, that uh, five lakh I have paid, the repayment has been one lakh twenty five thousand. So it means that the amount which is minus, the, so the total debt net amount will be the second year amount so you carry this amount again this is the same so i can just drag down for all the four years so here same minus of this and to this so then drag down right now so at the end of the year your amount will be zero Understood. Case two. Um, I mean, case two only, no? Okay. So, shall I do the next one? How do you do with this? Finish it.
ओके ओके डू डू
we will finish it on the netjets two. So here, what happens? I need to take the means. I need to find out the debt and the expenses, interest amount, and the principal repaid amount, and what is the debt amount I am going to pay it. So the total amount of that. So here first you need to take the five lakh. In the case one, they have itself is given loan taken in the bank, interest paid, loan period. So here let me take the same five lakh. Now, if I wanted to find out my interest amount, that is nothing but uh, I should find out the value. Here, EMI. So to find out the EMI, what formula I should use in TVM? Tell me. Yes, tell me what function I should use. It should be fast. So if I in my turn finding the EAI or EMI, what is that? What I need to use the function. So I, I have taught you. Huh? Do I want to payment. use CFP, PV, uh, payment? Correct. So I should use payment, PMT. So PMT rate N per present value. So for this you can give the minus symbol. Mm. So now I need to do the I need to do the interest amount here. They have told uh, fifteen percent interest expenses is on five lakh fifteen percentage. So seventy five thousand is the uh, amount. Here principal is required is EMI minus interest expenses. So your debt should be that uh, debt minus your principal amount. So this is the amount I should take. When it comes to the debt in the zero here, it is five lakh. Now uh, the debt amount is the, the year one. It is one uh, three lakh thirty nine thousand eight hundred and sixty four sixty seven. Will be carrying forward to this amount. Okay. Now, same manner, okay. this should be the same for all. So I'll make absolute for all.
So end of the year, it should be zero for me. Okay. So as I told you here, you are going to find out PMT payment amount. This interest amount uh, is nothing but uh, uh, five lakh into fifteen percent. Principal repaid. Principal repaid is uh, EMI minus interest expenses. The total debt is uh, debt minus principal repaid. So this is the continuation. So in the case two, you do by yourself. That is an assignment. So you try to do this uh, by yourself. Here I have the income statement already is given. Find out uh, which is the cash, which is the gross, which is the depreciation in year one, year two, year three, year four. Find out total asset, total liabilities. So your total asset and liabilities should be equal. Then find out the debt schedule. So debt schedule I have just taught you the same thing. Here it is already given. Debt format is given here. Find it out this part. Okay. Final balance sheet is an assignment for you. So once again I say uh, to find out the debt schedule. Five lakh you take the amount in the year one. The EMI is the payment amount. So if you are dragging the continuously, you make every reference as an absolute reference. Your expenses, it's nothing but debt my debt into the 15%. So your principal repaid is nothing but EMI minus interest expenses. The debt amount is nothing but debt minus the principal repaid. So then drag the values. The last year it should become zero. Your debt will become zero. Okay. Same manner do the, the debt schedule for the case two. Understood? Okay, so do everything. Today we will wind up for this much class. This uh, for this we will end up tomorrow. Principal amount. Okay, C equals PMT principal repaid or EMI. Okay, for EMI I will once again explain. F four comma Sorry, rate. First is rate. F4, comma, N per F4, comma. So minus the amount F4. Like it goes up. Principal repaid is EMI minus uh, interest expenses. So EMI minus interest expenses is your principal repay. Understood? Okay. Fine then. So start doing everything. Uh, try to do the balance sheet the last balance sheet so from tomorrow tomorrow once cash flow is there cash flow i will complete up then we will be doing the case studies so our the last class will be on tuesday that means uh, 14th is our end of the class so 14th your exam date also 13th will be the end of the class means till this friday we will finish it of all the assignment part Monday we will do the revision. Tuesday will be your exam. 14. Okay. Fine. Thank you all. We'll again meet on tomorrow.